I have got a serious case of the Monday. Y'all ready for the big show? He hate Monday. I don't work Monday. Say what? Talk about a case of the Monday. Listen, I say we don't air this show. What, what, are, you, what are you talking about? As they say in Hollywood, the show must go on. It's Monday Madness. <laughs> this is the show for you. What? Let's go. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Universal's Minions overran the box office over the weekend as audiences in the U.S. and Canada shelled out an estimated 115.2 million to see the evil master-serving horde frolic on the big screen. It was the second biggest opening ever for an animated film and an easy win for the sidekicks who took the spotlight after playing supporting roles in two previous Despicable Me movies. The bright, babbling Baldi have become key characters in the franchise from Universal's Illumination Entertainment. The Hollywood Chamber of Commerce has firmly dispelled any rumors that the stars dedicated to Bill Cosby and Donald Trump would be removed from the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The president and CEO of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce stated, Once a star has been added to the walk, it is considered part of the historic fabric of the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Because of this, we have never removed a star from the walk. We'll see about that. Confederate flags are the only thing dropping faster than the price of Bill Cosby's appearance fee. Ariana Grande was caught on video licking donuts in a donut shop and then not paying for them. And the shopkeeper described her as rude. You know, if you're going to contaminate someone's donuts, you should at least be polite about it. Korea's Kim Jong-un has executed 70 people since taking office. And yet, he continues to spare the life of the barber who inexplicably based his haircut on a 2009 photo of Miley Cyrus. Keith Richards announced plans to release a new solo album, which is pretty remarkable considering he's been legally dead since 1986. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, the neurosurgeon and medical correspondent for CNN, is accused of fabricating a story about operating on an eight-year-old girl after the April earthquake in Nepal and saving her life. He also claims that, with Brian Williams by his side, he performed said operation while aboard a helicopter that was taking vicious enemy fire. Presidential candidate Jeb Bush is getting heat for saying Americans need to work longer hours. This even bothered his brother George W., who is adamant about keeping the hour at 60 minutes and not a minute longer. Charlie Sheen said the other day that he's done with Twitter. By the way, Twitter happens to be the name of a $500 an hour hooker who stole his coke. Italy's law enforcement agencies are having a big problem. They've seized so many assets from the mafia, they're not sure what to do with all that stuff. Good point. What do you do with a warehouse full of extra-large velour tracksuits? And a West Virginia man was charged with keeping two deer captive in his house for the past year. The deer knew they had to find a way to call for help quickly after the guy came home the other day with a brand new barbecue. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out The Being Frank Show, starring Frank D'Angelo, live Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, right here on NSS.